Okay, hi everyone. So we're going to take um, those two last videos in uh, in graph making with JavaFX, and we're going to extend it a little bit more. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to take inputs from the user to uh, to set up uh, coefficients for an equation. So in this case, we're going to use a simple equation: y is equal to mx plus b, which is the equation for a line. So y is the vertical part, m is the slope, x is the horizontal part, and then uh, b is the y-intercept. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our our main um, class right here, okay, and inside of it we have our main method. That main method uh, is is used to sort of launch the the JavaFX business. And then inside of Start, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a couple of things. Okay, so right now we've got um, we've got an equation where we, uh, uh, we, we we explained last time around. And, uh, and now what we need to do is we need to uh, figure out how to bring uh, coefficients in to feed that equation. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Uh, var coefficients, coefficients, like that, yeah, got to get that right. And, um, and so what we're going to do is we are going to read coefficients, okay, and we're going to use system dot, uh, we're going to use system dot in to do that. All right, I believe I got that right there. Co read coefficients is not yet defined. All right, and then from there, we're going to feed coefficients into the equation for data, okay, which we'd done before, but we're now we're going to pass something into it. Then um, we're going to bring equation out from there. Um, so that will then be transferred over into, um, let me see from there, what we're going to do is we are going to, bring it over here and we're going to run the number of data points in and then we're going to have our data out there and then we're going to graph it from there. Okay, so a couple of different steps. So what we got to do is we got to work on this read coefficients business now. So we're going to put this in here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go static, and we are going to do read coefficients. Co I got to spell this right, like that. And um, this is going to be input stream, like that. So we're going to take the input stream for this. All right. Now it's going to get a little bit more. It's going to get a little hairy here. All right. And um, let's see, what we're going to do is we are going to bring in a file that I'm going to show you in a second, coefficients for equation types, right there. We're going to have integers for the coefficients, and that should be that this we want to bring in. Yeah, we want to bring in, we want to import, yeah, import class. There we go, that's in. All right, so we've got that. And we'll be doing a try in the in here. We're going to scan because okay, so I might as well finish this right here. So we're going to try like this. And we're going to go var scanner is equal to, oops, new scanner input stream like so. out oops s out like that there you go um, coefficient for slope like so and then we're gonna go var m is equal to scanner next int like that so we're gonna call the integer and we do want that. We want the scanner in there. All right. Then we're going to go S out. Coefficient for, whoops, Y intercept. Like that. 
var b is equal to scanner dot next int like that. So we're going to uh, scan in the, those two coefficients as integers. Then we're going to return new, and this is going to be coefficients for equations like that. And we're going to pass in m and b like that. All right, so I believe that is done. Now, coefficients for equations, I wrote it earlier. You can see right here, this is the file right here. And so basically what we're looking at is y is equal to mx plus b. That's the equation that we're interested in. And, um, and we're using generics. You can see that right here. Um, we've got, uh, internally, we've got two private variables, m and b. We're going to assign them here and here in the constructor based on the input uh, uh, arguments m and b. And then we've got two other methods right here that will return the values of m and b as necessary. And then we've got a nice little uh, method in here for outputting a little string, a little sentence that says what the equation is and, and it will parametrically tell us what the, uh, the, uh, the values for m and b are inside of that sentence right there. So this is, um, this is the class called coefficients for equations defined right there. Go back into main right here. And that's done. All right, and I think we're okay there. All right, next up. In equations for data, we've got to make some uh, some changes in here as well. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, uh, we need to create a couple of methods. We've got the method from before which we're going to um, to modify. Okay, and that was the method that we were using to create data points using a little for loop right here. But we no longer have that for loop or we're not going to have that for loop anymore. We're going to or sorry, we're yes, we will. We're just going to use it differently. Okay. Um, and so inside the for loop right here, instead of having instead of hard coding the equation in there, what we're going to do is because we're going to be creating that equation in that other um, that other file, that other that other class, what we need here is a method called get y. And that will take the value of i that's coming in from the for loop, all right, which is what we're using for x, and we're going to put it right there. Because y is equal to mx plus b, right? So we um, we want to bring that in from uh, let me see, we want to bring it in, well, we'll show you in a sec, but basically that's what we're going to be doing. Now, we don't have get y defined, so what we need to do is define it. So this is going to be a private uh, method, and it's going to be int get y, like that. We're going to make it, we're going to take integers, and we're going to output integers from it as well. Keep it nice and simple. And then basically what we want to do is we want to return a value. And so returning the value is going to look like this. It's going to be return. Okay, what do we fill this in here with? Uh, this is going to be, well, we're actually missing something. We need the coefficients to, to come in here. Okay, so what we're going to need here is before we can do get y, we've got to return something, but we've got to do a little bit more setup right here first. All right. So we need to change that to include, uh, let me see, that would be coefficients for equations, like that. Okay, and we're going to coefficients, yeah, like that. Okay, so we're going to pass, we're going to pass in coefficients. And the coefficients are defined um, according to what we wrote originally for coefficients for equations here. So we're going to be measure, we're going to be bringing those in right here. So in here, what we have to do is we have to go like this: private, final. We have to set these coefficients internally. Okay. Coefficients for equations like that. Coefficients, coefficients like that. Okay, this will be the local copy that we're going to use internally. And we need a constructor. So that constructor equation for 
data like that. All right, and um, let's see. Do it like that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That, like so, because this is the constructor. I should label that as a constructor. Okay, and so this dot coefficients is going to be uh, passed or assigned the values that are coming in from the outside that have been defined by our scanning like this. Oops, did I spell that wrong? Let me make sure I'm having trouble spelling today. Like that. Okay. That's our constructor. Yes. Okay. So then what we do here is we're going to go, we're, we're getting the uh, x value, we're passing it in, and we want to uh, do this. We want to go this dot coefficients dot get. Uh, this is going to be y is equal to mx plus b, so we want m. We're going to multiply that by x. And we're going to uh, return, yeah, then we're going to go this dot coefficients like that. We're going to go get b like that. And that is m multiplied by x plus b, which happens to be y. Okay, so y is equal to mx plus b, like that. So that's our get y. And then now that's all set, so that for all the data points that we have, we're going to have a for loop that will generate it based on the get y that's right here. Okay, am I missing anything else? I don't believe I am missing anything else right now. Okay. Over here, don't need this anymore. That's from a previous video where we're hard coding in the, the, uh, the values. Got that set up right there. Nothing is striking me as missing. Got most things in here. Let's uh, let's take a look. Let's uh, let's compile and see if I've missed something. Of course, there's always something. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we have we have the uh, the equation right there. So we can see that that's the slope right there. Let's uh, let's try something a little different. Okay. Okay, let's go for a slope of two, and let's go for a coefficient for the y-intercept of zero. So it should go at the um, the origin. There's the origin right there. And we've got a slope of two, like that, that looks about right. Let's try again, a different one. Coefficient for slope, we're gonna do one. And coefficient for the y-intercept, we're going to do, a, let's do 10. There, and it's exactly as we want. Okay, and there you have it.